All right, Bay today is Monday. It's September 20th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports Snake Draft Monday. We have a two-time guest on. This is his second appearance. File Burr, how are you? Thanks for jumping on. I'm fucking nervous, boys. You guys take this so seriously, and I'm so nervous. You guys take this more seriously than I took the SATs. Like, that's not even you, – you take this more seriously than I took applying to colleges. What did you get on your nervous. SAT, John? What did I get? I, I honestly don't remember. I think 18-something. I, I was the first year to get it on a 24. Oh. Um, and, you shouldn't uh, say the last I got, part. I got a perfect score on writing, and I got a shit score on math, and I think I got a fucking weird score on – That's actually uh, how I kind of went. Ranch, whatever it was. Yeah, not I, it wasn't great. It wasn't I, anything to write home about. We had my uh, my math class at prep school was taught by the hockey coach, and it was the first semester, so it was like pre calculus or calculus or one of those things, and it was not that at all. It was just a class for the hockey team, and all we did was SAT ACT prep. Ah. So my score jumped like six points. <laughs> so nice. yeah, it was nice. I never it was a nice did touch. the SAT. I uh, John, Wait. I feel comparatively you take nothing serious, so that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm. A, we're, we're really like two ships in the night on this thing here. But I took this one seriously. I took this very fucking seriously. I have a. I. I I'm gonna call my shot. I'm gonna Babe Ruth it right now. I think I'm gonna win this. Ooh. And I have about. I have too many shows. That's my hardest part about winning this is gonna be deciding which great picks I go with. Yeah. I, listen, I'll say that right on the job. Obviously, you've seen the title of the podcast. It's the uh, TV theme song draft. It's fucking hard, and I have no idea the way people are going to vote because it's all over the place. There's a lot of ways you can go. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I honestly – and we haven't even drafted it. I don't know, like, who's going to – I'm struggling really? with my list. Yeah. I, I was struggling, too. I think there's a handful that are chalk very, very, very easy. And uh, the rest, I was like, yeah. Like, I don't remember a lot of the shows I'm going to be drafting. I watched them, but – it was like okay. mid nineties right. shit. A little, there's a little tilt for Dave. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it's like if it generates an emotion. If you hear like Pavlov's dog hears the bell and goes looking for food. Like I think once you, I'm, I put my list together and think about it from the perspective of like what gets me to be like, ooh, I got to sit down now and watch this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good way to put once it. You, actually, like, once you hear, once you hear the words, like like there's somewhere I was like. I was like, wait, what was the theme song of that one? And I YouTube it. I was like, oh fuck, this is unbelievable. Like, right away it hits mm-hmm. you. Like I got I got probably three or four that I, I probably haven't watched since I was a kid. But yeah. when you hear when I hear heard the song, I was like, oh, that's right. That was just Brings that it had back. you running. The nostalgia always plays. It always plays. Yeah. People oh. love nostalgia. <laughs> uh, um all right. Tom has a number one through five behind his back. John, what number is it? Three. three. It is not three. Carl. One. Two. Four. I want the first overall pick. I think I know what you're doing. Yeah. I uh, mean, there is there's is a one one pick. One through four I to so, me, too. Tom. I'm going to say two. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take number two overall. And I think there's a number two overall pick. Uh, Don't like the way this is shaping <laughs> up. <laughs> I know exactly. Do you want me to do the draft? <laughs> one through three, uh, John. One. Carl. Ah. I said it so Uh, Carl can have it because I just. I don't want it. I don't want it. Ooh, he, you guys, he's deferring. Fault. Yeah, no, he's you can deferring take it to the second half. I jumped his. I yeah, jumped but it doesn't him matter order. because I. It doesn't matter because it's a 50 50 thing. And you got. So you can pick. I don't you care. sleep at the wheel, Chief. It goes the wow, same way every day. Wow, this is an unprecedented so, play right yeah. here. And this I, is first I and deferred. snake. I redefer. I cheated so you can have it. I, I, don't, I don't want it. You just took it from me, and I'm letting you have it. You fucked up, so therefore, I think it's. I think you got to make the pick. All right, then I'll take third. Okay, uh, one or two, John. Two. No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> one. I'll pick last. I'll pick last. All right. How do you feel about your draft board now? What a gentleman. <laughs> um. So there it is. The order is White Sox, Dave, Eddie, Chief, Feidelberg, Carl. Uh, congrats to me for winning the fruit draft. We got to fix this, man. What? The, the polling, the, the voting. Yeah. It had over 1,000 replies. I, so. I, I understand. And I won one of those, too, but I like it better when there's yeah. I don't disagree. I felt when I won the whichever one was before that, I didn't. it, it doesn't hit. When you doesn't see the graph, yeah, 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 it doesn't yeah, feel yeah. the same. 
Yeah, because I'll, I'll scroll through them too and like try to fish out who's voting for me and shit. But it's it's time consuming and we it's gotta not hope Brian we right Brian there. Fitzsimmons. We gotta hope he builds us something on barcelosports dot com slash Chicago. I think we got to that point already. Yeah, that's right. We're right. here. I think I think we've done Absolute enough with the snake draft. Brian, that we should have some I know you're listening. Well, he's the best. If anybody's gonna do it, it's Brian Fitzsimmons. Yeah, and he'll do it with a smile. This is this is a, an impressive amount of ass kissing I'm listening. To. <laughs> <laughs> we just want our poll back, Feidelberg. I'm sorry. It's it's hard to explain. Assholes ruined it. Not assholes. People have probably no, thought they're, they're, fun. they're funny. No, they are assholes. They're Fuck assholes. That. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, before we get going here, though, we do have these beautiful beef kits on our desks. A uh, ton of beefs got sent to us for week one. Love that. Yeah. Tis the season, Edward. Yep. It is beef season. John, have you ever had a beef? And I'm not oh, talking a about beef. a sexual. I, I don't think I haven't had a JP beef. And that's what I need the kit. I, I need the kit in a big way, actually. I'd fucking I'd cook one of those up on a nice. Well, Sunday. John, this is what you're going to do. As soon as you get done losing the snake draft to me, you're going to go to tastereelschicago.com and you're going to order up a beef kit. You can get it. For, what is it? 15 bucks? Something like that. 13. 13 bucks. You can get it shipped to all 50 states and the UK and Canada, and it's going to be at your door within a handful of days. And you can just and do it. And it comes with all the peppers, all the fixings, everything I need? You uh, just you need, need to go get the beef. The, the beef. You need, need the beef, right, right. right. Yeah. Else and the broth. You got to get the, the broth. broth. We and got the, buns, the spices. Yeah. yeah, we got all the yeah. all the, all the the things that make it a beef we, we bring to you. Yeah, all the Chicago yeah, shit that you wouldn't be able to get. Okay, and is there a promo code I can use for this? Just go to tastefulchicago.com or it's on the Barstool site. At the, oh, at it's the, on the Barstool site? Yes. Fuck yeah, yeah, it is. Correct. That makes it nice and easy for me. Very easy. So go do that. Fights. And uh, I heard. I also heard this. We'll have to take this off podcast. But I heard you're a Banya guy now and you didn't tell me. I'm uh, a what? Uh, a Russian Banya guy. Buddy. Uh, I did my first I Banya know. the other day. What is it? I that? actually, it's back at my desk on the studio. I got my, wool, my boiled wool hat. Yes. I'm wearing that all over the place. Dude. The banya was, I thought I was going for 45 minutes. I was in the banya for three plus hours. <laughs> Dude, Jesus. The banya is great, man. It's unbelievable. I'm, yeah. still, I'm still buzzing off it. It's been yeah. six days, still buzzing. I, I'm like nervous. I've walked by the one on Division a thousand times. I great. still don't even know what building it is. It's, it's got the big red it's on red it. You've, square, you've yeah. definitely I seen know it. I've seen it. And I've, it, it just, it's right near, I haven't uh, seen it. It's right Good. near parlor, parlor and Smokehouse. Yeah. Smoke Daddy. But anyways. Chief, let me tell you, there's nothing to be scared about. This is the most welcoming and accepting community I've been a part of in my entire life. Right <laughs> I, away, these I feel like were ready to tell me. Almost, it's almost like elders bestowing the secrets because it's it's a dying art. It's a dying yeah. tradition, and they're so happy to see a youngish person walk in. Couldn't be happier to tell me how to go through it, how much time to spend in each Schwitz room, Russian bathroom, steam room, infrared room, the cold tub. They were beating me with eucalyptus leaves. I think yep. they treated me like I was a Russian king. I might go this weekend. That's nice. I, I am also like sort of concerned that I'm just going to end up on like a watch list. Be like, oh, this guy's in you with the like, Russians. Hey, you, you take risks. Hey, how are we talking for hangover cures? Did you like do it? Uh, you Is that why I, did? I haven't drank in three weeks, um, so I can't tell you how a hangover cure is working, but I can't wait to try. I What's be, that I about? Yeah, that. what is that about? Your face it doesn't What's look that? as puffy today. I will say that. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Your face doesn't look quite as puffy today. <laughs> just just giving the body a little reset before the fall comes. That's nice. There you go. I think Handsome um, Hank was saying that the other night, too. I was playing Call of Duty with him in MRAGs at, like, midnight a couple nights ago. And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm done drinking. I'm like, what? Are you guys all doing that out there? No, I didn't know. I'm, that's the first I'm hearing about Hank. Is he saying he's done forever or just done for taking no, a reset? No, just for a couple weeks, he said. Like, sim yeah. similar to you, yeah, a reset. Giving the body a break. That's what the week is for. And then so uh, go get your banya on and get your beef on. TasteRollChicago.com. Yeah. yeah, beef kit. Beef and banya. Beef and, and banya. And send all those uh, baptisms beef, to us. Yeah, the beef kit's great. We love the beef Chicago. kit. Yeah. It's such a good thing. Mm -hmm. All right. TasteRollChicago.com. White Sox, Dave, you're on the clock. I think this is a very, very, very easy first overall pick. And this is the first time I've actually had the choice to pick where I want to go. I think this is just That's a complete just not true. Oh, in a long time. In a long say. time. Oh, in a long time. Okay. Yeah, okay. in a long time. All right. Uh, but Fresh Prince, easy 1-1. One, one. Hmm. Thousand percent. Surprise you, Chief? No, I, I, think, it, I think it's a good 1-1. One, one. I thought Music Dave might go with something else. 
Yeah, there. I mean, I mean, I was trying to find the best blend of something specific to a TV show, and that's a good song, and that's that you know exactly what it's from. I mean, th- this was it was the. Like it was made for the TV show. It wasn't a song that they like bought. Like yep. part of my take does with, you know, uh, mm-hmm. whatever they use, whatever fucking songs it is. But uh, it's like their song, and I think that's puts it over the top to make the one. Yeah, but play. I don't want to shit on those. You know, no, no, just no. yet because yeah. if there's a song that's been taken over and you hear the song and you think of the show, that says a lot about the show as well. Yeah, yeah that's, so, yeah, that's uh, a good point. That's don't a good be point. discouraged from drafting those either. Let me say that. But I agree, Dave. That was my one one overall. I also think there's an obvious two. One two overall. I think there's a one but, two. Uh, yeah, I think it's a great pick. I think I, I, Fresh Prince always hits. I feel like I'm walking alone in the forest here. Like you guys all have a plan, and I've been separated from the group. Like I don't know what's going on. Did Chief, you? I think I'm riding with you. Okay. I think I, I also don't have a plan. I got a big list. I don't have a plan. I don't. I think all of my choices are fair first round picks. Okay. Oh wow! <laughs> All yeah, my I choices. Think, I think. I think it, uh, he's got. I mean, there's only five first round he's got, picks. He's got fifty first round picks on the board. I I don't have a I don't have one that you if I went first round you'd go that's crazy. <laughs> that's one of the most. We're I about mean, to find out. John, I can't believe John's gonna sit here in an hour and be like, "I love my draft." I okay, think I got wait, first round. Well, let me ask you: Was Fresh Prince <laughs> on that list? Because it What's sounds that? like it wasn't. It sounds like Fresh Prince's theme song wasn't on that list. I, I did. I just crossed it out. Um, it was on the list. I would have been hesitant to pick it because it's almost too easy. I'm trying to. It is a like. It's, I it's, like that. It's so, it's so the right pick. It's Greg Oden. It's like it's so the right oh. pick that it, although Oden's not wasn't so right the right pick, but you know what I mean. It was. I thought Oden that's what you were saying. What's that? I thought that's what you're saying. It was so the right pick. You have to do it, but in the end, it might not work out for you. Yeah, it, that's that's yeah. what's happening. Thing. Yeah, I okay. think I think people might go. Ah, it's it's so considered the greatest of all time that mm. I'm railing against it. Mm. It's one of the easiest songs to sing along. Not just TV songs, like easiest sing along songs mm-hmm. of all time. You that thing came out of pregame. That, that beginning hits. Yeah, in West Philadelphia, Philadelphia born, born and, and raised on the, the playground, is where I spent most of my days. It's good. Chilling out, Max, and relaxing. What's the, the YouTube uh, legality, Tom? Can we do five seconds of each song or no? We could do five seconds of each song. Oh, wait. Added, like, so on or no? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I think no we, yeah, I think that would be impossible to get it through our back end, right? Really? Maybe? Oh, I thought that's what Jeff DeLode, he, like, timed it perfectly, I know. But mm. uh, who knows? Um, Tom's like, no, you guys are allowed to butcher it as long as you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep singing, assholes. <laughs> um, all right. French Principal Air off the board, Dave. 1-1 one, one pick. I'm there with you. Um to me, number two overall, I think the same thing. I think I think maybe this could have went one, two, is you got to go where everybody knows your name. And cheers. I'm yeah, cheers. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was just a hair before my time. I obviously, yeah. I know the song. Everybody identifies it with the TV show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm interested in Feidelberg's take, obviously, yeah. being the Boston mm-hmm. guy. Uh, I've been to Cheers once. It's actually the first time. Um, it's, a, it's a nice enough bar. I like... Okay, here are a few things here. One, I went once. It's the first time someone ever came up to me and told me that we were Eskimo brothers. It was like probably like seven years ago, and he's <laughs> like, he's like, hey, I fucked the girl, you fucked. And I was like, dude, that's a weird thing to say. <laughs> and I wish, I hope no one ever says it to me ever again. Um, two is that um, I had never seen Cheers again. I'm, I think I think Dave said it. Um, it was a little before my time, but I've gone back to watch it, and I haven't finished it because it's like 13 seasons. But it's a great show. Yeah, it's a yeah. Really, really it's on Netflix, show. right? Yeah, it? it's on. At least yeah. it was when I was watching it very recently. Yep. Um, and then three though, they pour. Google it. They pour. So uh, uh, Sam Malone pours the worst beers you'll ever see in your life. <laughs> just, just Google Sam Malone beer pour. Everything is ninety percent fucking head. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> fucking Norm is just guzzling foam. <laughs> He's just, just guzzling foam. It's okay. Um, yeah. But it's, the song is, it hits and it also is like, I don't know. Puts you in a good mood. Yeah, there's something yeah, comforting it does. about it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. Can I tell you something? Everybody I listened knows to it this morning while walking the dog getting ready for this draft. I was hoping to get it. Yeah. So I'm happy with Cheers. Like I said, I, I, in my eyes, I wanted to be one or two to get one of those. Do you know the last name of the guy who wrote it? Um, Oh, yeah, I saw it just now when I was 
Portnoy. It's Portnoy. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. Gary Portnoy. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting. I wonder, there's got to be some, like, it's I've, not too common. We'll have to it? ask Mike Portnoy. We'll see if he knows. Mm -hmm. Text him right now. Uh -huh. I mean, it's not Williams, but it's probably. I heard you mention Norm. You know who Norm's nephew is? Who's that? Oh, it's Sudeikis, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh I yeah, didn't yeah. know that. Mm -hmm. Did not know mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Wow. I learned that just the other day. That's yeah. a show that I need to watch. Lasso? Yeah, I haven't yeah, seen too. it. Everyone says it's like the best show going right now. Yeah. But all right, I think, like I said, I think that was kind of chalk right there, but I think those are yeah, bi big two right there. So, mm -hmm. Chief, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm going with one. I think Dave might have been alluding to this when talking about, oh, it's a song for something else. Um, but to me, it might. I, I thought you were going to go Wonder Years. A oh, little help from my friends. It's yeah. still I think uh, Cocker, and it's still like one of the best. Like it's a great, great song, and that was my introduction to that song. I didn't know it was a song when I was first watching the Wonder Years in the '90s. I thought it was just oh, it was a Wonder Years song. I didn't know it was its own like mega hit thirty years prior. So uh, uh, what, what? It's it's uh, every where everybody. No, I've been reading off. The, Get by with a little help from your friends, yeah. Wonder Years. So I don't know. Are we putting the song? Or are we putting the show? I'm just writing the show for now. Yeah. All right, so then Wonder Years. Um, I don't think I know Wonder Years. I'm trying yeah, to see you do. Get by with a little help from, from my, my friends. friends. It, that, no. There you go. I yeah, they yeah, it. Got it. <laughs> no, oh, it, I need my buddy. Wait, no, it's not the Beatles one. It's not the Beatles mm. one. It's the other it's, one. It's, it's Paul Paul some Cartney, people yeah. might have the Beatles one right. stuck in your head. Bill Cochran. Not Bill what would you do if Bill I sang Cochran. out of tune? What would you yeah. do if yeah. I sang that's out of tune? There you got me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. that's it. That's the Wonder yeah. Years. Or is it the same one I just said? It's not the Beatles version. No, it's Paul McCartney sings it. I know. Yeah, but it's it's. It's the guy's last name is Cochran. It's like, Bill Cochran. Bill, is it Bill Cochran? Yeah, yeah. It's Bill Cochran. He's got more soul in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He it's hits good. It right I, think, yeah. I think Paul McCartney covered it with. Uh, it was the Wings he was with, right? Joe Cocker. Joe Cocker. That's it. Joe yeah. Cocker. Joe Cocker. Joe, Joe Cocker. Cocker. Thank you. Listen to Dave's music podcast. It's, um, it's very good. Number three overall, good. I don't know about that yet. Oh, uh, no. see, I think it's I like it the there. best song. Um, but we'll see. Like I said, I think I'm. I've I've been separated from the group. I'm walking alone in the woods. Like I, I this is going to be. This might be a rough one for me. And like I said, I just don't know who's going to appreciate what. I truly don't. Yeah, that's the difference. Right. I appreciate it. I think it's a lie, but I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I think he probably could have got it later. Maybe. Really, I'm surprised to hear that because I thought it had a chance to go one one. Really? Yeah. It's but very good. I could, could be wrong. I was starts clearly, well. Mm -hmm. Kevin Arnold throwing the football around. Yep. Um, See, I, I got a question too because this is something that I've been thinking about where I think Eddie just kind of alluded to it where he said something along the lines of you know you got to think who's going to like what is that something you guys factor into a draft where I'm like I got to get I got to pick up this this demographics vote yeah, it's 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 I mean fight, it's, it's, well. it's the fight is the age old question mm -hmm. some would say Chief picks what he likes some would say Carl picks what the fans like is that fair to say that's a narrative that's out there yeah. that is the narrative that is the narrative yeah it's a narrative it's a narrative There's i mean lot. i think it's good cover for not being able to relate to a general topic as you just say well i just stay true to myself just like i think if i do research and come up with some I think that's a good i think that's a good argument so mm. it's like are you putting your favorite available or are you putting what you think are the best most iconic and we still don't know and we've probably done close to 100 of these so hope that answered the question <laughs> Yeah. To pander or not pander. That's the question. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good word. Yeah. Pander. Sticks. Pander, 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 Sticks. pander, pander. Politic around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Win. Um the Wonder Years off the board. Fidelberg, you're up. All right, man. See, I got I got two right now. I love them both. We know. And I'm just trying to decide. Which one's gonna slip to me in the next round? It's a I snake, remember. You only got a duck duck ed. Carl. Carl. Was or that? Carl Rath. You only got to duck Carl, rather. Oh, fuck me. That's right. Okay. Okay. Big change there. <laughs> Credit to me for being a good teammate. About the snake aspect. All right. We're going first round. The OC. Oh, fuck you, John. That's my. That's mine. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Never mind. No, 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 no. It's no. not yours, but Chief, I got yours on here, too. <laughs> 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 That's California. That one. That's it, Weaving Cal on the run, drinking in the sun, yeah. cruising down the 101. Something like that. That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. All right. The OC. Misha, Misha Barton, Rachel Bilson. Misha Barton, Rachel Bilson, Adam Brody, 
Firecast, Firecast, Fire Show, most outrageous show you'll ever see in your life. The death scene in that show is still all time. You know, I never watched that show. When, I've seen when, like when three or four episodes. Because she was like, I think she was mean on set or something, and they just had to kill her character off, and it's just the most outrageous car accident you'll ever see in your life. <laughs> Just, okay. It's great teenage TV. Okay. So this is uh, you, this is one that I I can't relate to either. I never watched it for whatever reason. I watched it a little bit. Is it, do you? So do you? I, like I, the, the song's plan? great. Phantom Planet is the band. Phantom it's a Planet, great yeah. song. It's it, it just reeks like early two thousands music. That's like become all of our guilty pleasure listening songs at this point. Fifteen. 20 years later, Dave, but you don't say that word. We don't say that phrase. We don't have guilty. No, pleasure. but it's Everything every everybody. Like everybody loves the song, but nobody would admit they love the song unless oh, you just no. like don't give a fuck. That. It's, it's 2021, Dave. Guys are all gay now. We say we love Phantom Planet. It's fine. <laughs> you know what I'm getting at, though. But it, yeah, I it's know, yeah. I lo- I love the song. I wouldn't identify it as a first round pick. TV draft. TV well, theme song it's, draft. it's definitely a first rounder. John has all first rounders, so I'm not. Yeah. I I can't even argue. <laughs> He was so I don't even know if we should finish the draft. John's got all first rounders. We're going to lose. He has Yo, such conviction. OZ fourth overall. Just. You guys are so believable. Are you uh, OC? Uh, there was no way I was touching OC, so you could have. Yeah. you definitely could have gotten that on the rack. And I guess when you pose the question, it's TV theme songs. So, like, that song existed before the OC. Do you know what I mean? It's not a theme song for the OC. That was they were like, "Hey, we need a song." F- mm-hmm. well, That's exactly why I took the Fresh Prince one one. Right, because so, it was for the TV show. And this and it is, became super popular afterwards. Oh, I'm transitioning into my pick here, if you don't mind. Yeah. So I'm taking the Simpsons. Yeah, I, that's like I said at the start. It's like Pavlov's dog, like being a kid. The Absolute five to five thirty repeat. You nailed the time slot too. There's two episodes yeah, back to back. Yeah. Well, it used to be Home Improvement, no, 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 no. then yep. Simpsons five to five thirty, oh, and then they the realized days. like, wait a second, the viewership on Simpsons is so high, so they bumped it back. So when we got a full hour of Simpsons from that five to six, and like your parents aren't even if they are home before six, they're not settled, shit's not done or whatever. So cause both my parents were out. So when we were kids, five to six, that was like the sweet, sweetest fucking time. Yeah, like that to me, like same thing. Like you would come home from whatever practice you had, and you would just, like if you had basketball practice right after school, seventh grade, you come back, you're ready to watch the Simpsons. It's so. exactly that time. Yeah, yep. you were like yep. you get mac home, shower, do whatever, box right. mac and cheese. But yep. five to six p.m. at least in my childhood was like wide Simpsons every single day. So here's the thing too: the Simpsons theme. It's not that it's even like that great but they were so it's smart like, to do that ending scene where they changed the couch up so yeah, you yeah. watched it every time so just it got stuck in your head or, mm-hmm. or eat, and even bart whatever he was writing on the chocolate yeah, was exactly. different every so, time. saxophone yeah. was different every time mm-hmm. yeah so that it was yeah. just always it was always there everyone yeah. knows it i'm going to answer john's question earlier that he asked right now with my sixth pick because he asked what's best to me I know I want this on my board it's no way it gets back through the snake it's going to make it through your fucking hands and I'm taking the Sopranos. Yeah. Like, there's no way Sopranos survives another round of picks mm-hmm. in this draft. So I'm taking the yeah. Sopranos before anybody else can because I think it stands alone. It's so unique. And that it does trigger the same mm-hmm. level of emotion. Now, even on a rewatch. Oh, big time. Even on a rewatch, you're like, ooh, I, it's one you don't skip the intro. You just sit there and enjoy there's it. There's something about the HBO where it goes, and then woke mm-hmm. up this morning. Yeah. You know, like when you go from the HBO fuzzy screen right to that song, it is awesome. Now, I'm not building a playlist. That, that's my only thing. Sorry, John. I'm just not building a playlist here. I'm, I'm sticking to what I think is unique TV theme mm-hmm. song, mm-hmm. like opening credit sequencing. I don't think I've ever heard that song like like Joe Cocker. That's like like or Chief said that that song was thirty years old or whatever. By the time it was yep. adopted by the TV show, everybody identifies that song with The Sopranos. Yeah, and yeah. You, you you never hear it otherwise. What were you gonna say, it's, John? I I think it's almost. I think The Sopranos kind of falls into. It's a great song. It's a great pick. I think that it does run the risk of falling into almost like The Office. Like I hate The Office. Whoa. Song. Because I've heard it so many times. It's mm-hmm. just it's too often. I hear it all the time. And I, so it has become a skip because it's just become too overplayed for me. It's good to know for the next rap. <laughs> <laughs> it, all right. It's not a first rounder for John. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we know that for sure. Office, like, I guess we'll say this when someone picks the office. Because I have, I have plenty. Yeah. Of- you know, John, I got to tell you, too. You talk about seriousness. That's people, a warning. People do get a little upset. 
about naming picks that could be taken. So uh, <laughs> it's just something to keep in mind, John. Yeah, it's uh, the ump's going to give you one I'll, if you I'll, give I'll one more. I'll keep digging. The, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, Simpson Sopranos one two is strong. a fucking lethal S- strong. Thank you, jab and hook. So uh, it's going to be tough to beat for anyone coming out right now. But uh, I don't know. Maybe you don't value that much. That's right. I don't know where it's going to go. No clue. Um, all right, Final Bird, back to you. Okay, I'm going growing pains. Oh, good one. Fuck. I thought I'd be no, able to I, get I, in like the fourth or fifth. No, it's a first rounder, Ed. <laughs> I agree. The, I actually, it's a great song. I agree. Yeah, that's one of those ones when I was like thinking through. Yeah, it's a it's a great great song. It's Alan a, Vick, come on, guy guy went down playing hockey. How can you not honor him with a pick here? Got to. And then you also, it's one of those things where you've seen it so many times. Like I can remember, like the still frame, like the shots during each song. Like yeah. you know, like as you're getting ready to sit down and watch it, you see like all like uh, what, what was the main character's name? Oof. Mike Not Seaver. Th- Mike Seaver. You can yeah. like picture him and, and yeah, and, and then his friend Boner. Like you can just picture all like the little things in the intro while that song is playing too. So great, great pick. Never watched it. I love it, John. I, I truly do. That's one of those, like, that's a very, very big personal favorite of mine. And I just love the show in general. It's one of my favorite, like, old sitcoms that I got to watch. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, I it's, love growing up. They don't make shows Leo, like that right? anymore. Was that Leo's yeah, it was. first role? Yep. yep. That was young Leo. No yeah. shit? Leo's yep. in it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't know. Like, a couple seasons. A couple seasons. Yeah, a couple seasons. Yeah, come wow. towards the end. He's mm-hmm. like, I think he's adopted. He's, got, he's, a, he's been a rescue child. Yeah. Yes. He was a bad boy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I uh, yeah, you like that. <laughs> I love the pick. I love it. Yeah. Great um. One. All right, back to Chief. All right. Well, I kind of leaked it earlier when I freaked out at John for taking it when he, when I heard Jeez. the OC when I thought he was taking the hills, which is unwritten. Uh, so I feel like just <laughs> I just have to do it. I can't not have it. So I'm taking uh the hills unwritten. Chief, I, there it ran through my mind. I considered being a motherfucker. Like I, I almost just just took a knee on this draft just to take the top <laughs> for our first round. I don't know if this is an incentive or not, or a disincentive, but I don't think I ever would have talked to you again. So, so <laughs> if, you, if you had taken if you had taken unwritten in the hills, so uh, I know this is one I'm going to get eye rolls. I got eye rolls from you guys when I took it as my college song draft pick. And it turned out I was right about everything. So yeah. I'm happy to have it in this one. Can, as well. I, Great can song. I tell you why I'm going to roll my eyes at you? Because it's Cause another day of the week. No, when no, we're in no, the office. no, no, no. Because I, uh, I know you wanted it. And mm-hmm. I think there's probably one guy who could snatch it from you. You could have taken something else here because I guarantee you Dave and I weren't going to take this. Yeah. I, poor, I, poor no, order. No, right? this is this is an integrity thing. I, I know I had it pegged down a little further on my list, but because I freaked out earlier, I just felt like I need. I had leaked the pick, and I didn't want to just sit there knowing it was out there. So I was trying to just. I'm getting my pick. I'm getting it because I already freaked out earlier. Leaked Wait, what when it did was. you leak it? When I thought John took it. I did you say him. the hills? Oh no, he he fucking. Uh, I know he said fuck you, he's John. Scotty, he's Scotty Bowman twice and twice yeah, and three times. Right, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. He was. He thought. Yeah, he said the OC. Yeah, yeah I heard the. He said head. the OC, and I thought the Hills, and so I was just like it was out there. So I thought. Did I would you take guys it. know when then that he was going to take the Hills? No, I, I still. Never I knew. Oh, so his, I didn't see that was. A, I didn't, his reaction, I didn't read that as a leak at all. No, his reaction. I knew exactly what he was doing. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's been like the outside Unreal's of a great song. It's a great song. It is a great song. I really like so. That wait a second. Can we go back? Did you say? When Eddie said mm-hmm. he didn't like the draft strategy, yeah. you're saying you don't care because that's true to yourself? No, I'm saying like I, I thought that I, I felt a little guilt about like my reaction and leaking it early and I wanted it and I didn't know. You know, Dave is, Dave is a motherfucker too. <laughs> and he's got two picks coming up here, second and third round of snake draft. It's not inconceivable that he could have taken it. And it is a good song, it, as you it, just said. It, I will say this exactly. This is exactly how it would have gone down. Depending on what Ed does for this next pick, if he takes who I want to take next, then I would have absolutely See, taken it just to be so a So then I was right. And I have to have it. And I know Dave. And I know he knows me, and this is this that was a danger zone. And I did want it on my board, and I did have an element of guilt when I freaked out at John. So there you go. 
That's integrity, right? Okay. Or were something. you were you going to take this, John? Later sure. on, was this is this a first rounder? Was it on uh, your board? It's 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 on the list. I I did not have a check next to it. I have a check next to all my first rounders. <laughs> I, I I knew she was gonna. If I was gonna take it, it was just to be a bitch. I'm just. I'm entranced by John's draft boards. I've never had anyone walk in here and be like, I got all first rounders. <laughs> no, as this continues, and I'm starting to learn a little bit more about where you guys are going, I think I'm going to get all my first rounders. <laughs> I think I'm all set. I think so, even though I really want a growing pains later on. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, it's back to me. I'm in between two, and I don't know which Dave won't take. It's a very hard situation right now. Um, but I can't pass this up. It's a steal. I don't. I, I'm not a bit. I haven't really seen the show much, but it's iconic and it's friends. It's yeah. friends. I'll be there for you. Um, okay. Another one of those where you hear it, and it, even though it was another song by the Rembrandts or whatever, you think friends. You think of fucking the gang in their fucking massive apartment dancing around a fountain, whatever. Friends. This is one of those. So I have like a personal goal of never watching one second of that show because everybody else has yeah i don't even know if i have either to be honest i, I know that it's like hard to do right. and it's nothing against it but people like it i'm not gonna hate it just to hate it i feel like you're either friends or seinfeld but, but I, I was seinfeld but the the theme songs like completely completely like identifiable with that tv show it was on my list even though i've never seen it everybody knows what that goes to Okay, I got an admission to make here now that you two are coming clean about never seeing the show, never seen the OC. I I kind of <laughs> threw a lot. <laughs> I didn't know I didn't know if that was gonna affect picks. I have seen the one single scene I referenced. Um, but that, <laughs> I was gonna say, what you, is Chief, happening, Chief? You can't stand for what this. is going on, John? <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. You think you know a guy. You think you know That's... a guy. And he just drops out. He has zero integrity. You've seen the one car wreck. See, you talked about it. I had you meet. You had me believing that you were like an expert on this they, show. There was dude, dude, we've, in interviewed, scene, right? we've interviewed the two stars of the show. And both <laughs> times we were like, we don't even know what we're going to talk to you about. We haven't seen this stupid fucking show. <laughs> Oh my god! Wow. I thought like there was like a personal attachment involved no. to that too. Oh, it's no, a I fire this, cast. It's a fire I, show. It's a fire theme song. <laughs> Fuck you, John. Just lied, Rachel. <laughs> your face wow. lied. <laughs> the um. Wow. The, Jesus. But Phantom Planet is awesome. That's why I got defensive when Dave said it's a guilty pleasure. I said no, it's not, sir. It's a pleasure, pleasure. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um. <sighs> Friends, Friends at Nine is a little bit of a steal. Yeah, no, Friends at Nine is a steal. Did you watch it? I didn't watch it. Um, I was in the generation, like, all my, you know, like, your mm-hmm. friends and stuff, all the girlfriends in junior high, like, they were so into it. And I think it was, like, seventh or eighth grade when they did the finale. Was it, like, 99? I thought it was, like, 04. Yeah, I thought it was a little I later I thought it was later that. than that. But I have, like, we used to take these long car trips as a family, and I'm sandwiched between two sisters. And so, like, we would we had the the little like square TV that we would wedge in between the front two seats of the mm-hmm. suburban, and you would it would play either VHSs or DVDs, and you you know plug it into the cigarette outlet, whatever, like old school, and they would just go through like we'd be on these eighteen hour car rides back to you know back to New England in the summer, see my grandparents, and they would like just. M- I would just have to sit there. Like I've heard that song, that friend song, coming up on the DVD or the VHS. I'm not joking. Probably ten thousand times. I fucking hate that song, and I don't like the show. So I had to sit through many hours. I kind of fucking hate it. It's I hate the show. And I've never seen a second of it. See, but that's just that's you hate Lemmings, Dave. That's kind of Lemming by you. That's it's not. Uh, uh, it's a little Lemming. I hate bro. it. I hate it because loaded cast. Yeah. I mean, I know they're all funny and yeah. good. I thought. Yeah, and like, like the stuff I have seen, it's in relatively enjoyable. I was for looking that at. Of, I was watching a commercial of Jennifer Aniston the other day. I forget what I was doing, but I was. I remember thinking to myself, I was like, she has not aged a single second. Yeah. her entire life. Well, mm-hmm. that's that's she was like. One one. If we did it a babe is, yeah. draft, that's adds one one. She's not my one one, but I just think I got a good pickup line on her. That's all. Okay, I said. go ahead. You like that, John? No, Eddie has like a specific pickup line for Jennifer Aniston. He's been waiting to say it to her. <laughs> I want to say for over two decades. I thought now. you DM'd it to her. Yeah, I did, and she didn't respond. <laughs> DM'd it to her? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we were on radio one day, and they made me DM it to her, so I did it. But I think if I ever see her, I think if you just go past her and just go, hey, Jen, I loved you in Leprechaun, I think she'd like that. I think she'd get a kick Did you ever see Leprechaun, John? 
I have not seen Leprechaun. Oh, it, it's a horror movie from 1989. Oh, it, I know it. I know the yeah. film. I, it's like the OC. I, I know it. Yeah, right? yeah. Huh. It's her first movie ever. I just feel like she'd be like, whoa, you know, I think that's just a good angle. 93. That, I think that's a very good one. I Can think I she would be filleting you to completion Jesus. the moment you fucking finish <laughs> it. Why sunset. does it say that? Like that. I think she would. <laughs> what, were you, what were you saying, John? I, I had a... So the other night, we went. me and Kevin went to the um, the 9-11 like, comedy tribute, and there were whispers that we were going to end up sitting next to Matt Damon. And Ooh. I was like, what the fuck am I going to say to this guy? And I we did not end up sitting next to him. And I found out that he had a secret Instagram account with 70 followers, and my pickup line to Matt Damon was going to be, yo, let me get your Instagram account. And oh. I think, you know, how the fuck do you know about that? And that would have gotten us in good. See? Did yeah. someone just blog that the other day? I don't know. I thought I saw someone what? found it, like actually found it, like went sleuth detective mode and found the what? Instagram. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was blogged on our website. I saw it Boy, somewhere. It wouldn't, have, wouldn't have been a good pickup line then. Didn't see that. Turns out everyone knows it. <laughs> well, Glenny know. Balls got it. Oh, there was Glenny Balls. Glenny yes, Balls got it. Was. It. it was Glenny Balls. Like Glenny Balls himself found no, it? No, God, no. Matt, okay. Damon, <laughs> Matt Damon's fake Instagram or Finsta has been easily unearthed by the internet people. That's the headline. Do you, you remember when that happened to Brady? When during like all the uh, Deflategate stuff, Brady was talking about how he had a secret Instagram account. No. And people just kept like the one person that like Gronk, Giselle, and Edelman all followed who didn't have a picture. And they were like, okay, yeah, we found Brady. It was, <laughs> it's very quick to find someone's secret Instagram account. Oh, yeah. Well, you never know. John, it could work. You could be an extra in the next Boston movie he does. Maybe I'll go to fucking Six Flags with Jen and everything works out. You know? <laughs> uh, friends, that's my pick. Uh, Dave, you're up. I am going with the Entourage theme song for my second pick. Ooh. Jane's okay. Addiction. They're cruising around on that sick Lincoln. I've said this before also, and this doesn't really have anything to do with the song. It's more the intro video or whatever but that car is so fucking hot and i don't even like cars really i drive a nissan altima that car is insanely hot nissan altima what year 2016 oh okay newer one dude when i was in high school all the drug dealers drove nissan altimas but like 04s 05s that's tough for the brand any yeah. uh any of them sell crack by chance probably crack, he's from no. boston area <laughs> i i don't know how i remember this <laughs> But didn't you say you smoked crack in, like, Barcelona or something? No, my buddy did, though. Yeah. Well, we don't know exactly what it was, but it was it was in Seville. Ah, uh, Seville. It was in fucking Seville. No, it wasn't in Seville. What fucking... What country did I go? Or what city? Salamanca. Salamanca. Um, and there Tuka? was someone sitting on the steps with, like, a... Looked like a fucking bull. And my... I, I really rarely... I spoke, this is probably my junior high school. I didn't really smoke weed then. And, um... My buddy did, and the guy was like, "You want to hit?" And he went up and he hit it, and he just immediately like gave the guy the ball back, turned, walked away, and went, "Not weed, not weed, not weed." And then I just had to watch <laughs> him like freak out in a park for the next three hours. <laughs> there you go. That sounds That's fun. a story. That's fun. Well, don't do crack. What about the Entourage theme song, John? You watch Entourage, obviously. Oh yeah, I actually did a recent rewatch. Um, but the uh, what was it? I think it's I think it's a great pick. I think it, this goes viral every once in a while. The um like someone just poses the question, when you hear the HBO, what's the first song that plays next? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, there you go. That proves my point further. Uh, did you watch Clickbait with uh Adrian Grenier? Kevin said it was very bad. It was atrociously bad, but you have to watch it. Yeah, you kind of you love bad movies though. It's so fucking bad, man. It's a quick watch too. It's like six one hour episodes, so you can bust out when you're like hungover or whatever. But it is so bad. Entourage is good. I like the theme song. Uh, wasn't too high on my board, but it's it's definitely a it's a big one. And there's like the half hour episodes. Like you've seen it so many times. Oh yeah, that's true there's too, so many yeah. episodes that adds into it's it. Good I point. think. Good point. You've seen it so many. There's a Chicago Wolves jersey in it as well, which is a nice wrinkle mm -hmm. that I like. Uh, yeah, keep your eyes out. Keep your eyes peeled next, next time, time you do watch that, it. Yeah. That'll play well on the graphic too. Yeah, entourage. Color scheme wise, it's a it's a like a, yeah, the boys. It's a pretty picture in the car mm -hmm. and all that shit. People and I think that's just like it triggers good feelings. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. All right, entourage. Dave, you got another pick. And for my third round pick, I'm gonna go with Happy Days. Mm. Oh, good pick. Good, good pick. That. Throwback. Hey, that's a good run you went on there. It's iconic. Sunday, Monday, Happy Days. 
Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday Wednesday, happy days. Were Thursday, guys, Friday, happy days. Saturday, what a day. Something, something, something for you. Were you guys Nick at Night people or was that I was, you? but it was just teetering when I stopped watching okay. that kind of stuff. Because that, that was like when I think of like Nick at Night. Like that's the song that I think of. Like the, they would always play like the old old sitcoms, mm-hmm. and that was that was always to me the best one. It had the best theme song, so I like the pick. It was on my list. I think it, I got great value with one. it in it, the third round. It's an right? awesome one, but this is one I don't know how people will react to it. You know, like and and because we got a, a bunch of fucking eighteen year olds voting on this shit. Who knows? Jesus. Who knows if we have voting on anything? But that's I don't know. Like it sh- it should get respect because it's very fucking good. But I Fuck, don't know. Man. What? Aired in this. I don't know. It just made me, made me feel old. I just Googled Happy Days. I'm on their Wikipedia page. I don't like that. I don't like feeling old. I'm only good at being young. When I got a, uh, speaking of Happy Days and the Fonz, when I got my pedicure yesterday, they were playing uh, The Water Boy on the TV. So it was like a very right, nice you know. experience. Got to watch, uh, what was the coach's name? Henry, uh, uh, Coach Klein. Coach, coach Klein. Klein. Yeah. yeah. Also the Fonz. Henry Winkler. <laughs> Did it? Was he's he done something. yesterday, Chief? Uh, two days ago. Yeah. It was, it was lovely. He's never gotten one. Hear great things. Oh, it, it was very relaxing. You feel you feel great. Yeah. John, right. didn't you guys interview Henry Winkler a couple times? Henry Winkler just once, but he was a great guy. Really yeah. awesome. He's, he's supposed to be, like, universally. He's in Barry. He's great in that, too. Yeah. Barry's awesome. New Girl. I don't know if anyone, we've got any New Girl fans around here. He's a New Girl. He's uh, just one episode, but great appearance there. He's in something else I saw recently, too. He's the man, though. He's yeah. <laughs> Well, that's he, good. When he's sitting on the football <laughs> and the water was just staring at him, he's like, he, he going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, it's to me, third round. Before I make my pick, I want to mm. talk about Roman. What do you say? What do you give me that guff for? You know. We oh, got to talk about Roman. We got to talk about last longer in bed. Let's talk about it. Is that not important? No, it's very important. I love lasting longer in bed. So don't think about being like, oh, well, you're trying to last longer. Why does he do these before the third pick? I do it because that's the protocol. And uh, you shouldn't use these old foolproof methods because that shit doesn't work. You should be using the Roman swipes. They're uh, Roman. They're an online bed and health company, and they're changing the games with these clinically proven Roman swipes, okay? So you can last longer in bed. They're effective, easy to use, and they're fast acting, but they don't require a prescription. Roma can ship the swipe to in discreet, unmarked packaging, and each swipe packet is small enough to hide in your wallet for whenever you need it. Dave, can you confirm that? I can confirm, Ed. Let's take a look, see there if she's go. still in there. Well, you pull that out. I'll keep going here. They're super easy to use. Just take the swipe out of the packet, swipe it on, let it dry. You're good to go. That's it. Go to GetRoman.com slash walk. You can get the first month of swipes for just $5 when you choose a monthly plan. That's GetRoman.com slash walk. If you're watching on video, you saw Dave swipe. He's not lying, folks. He uses it. It works, so you should get it as well. GetRoman.com says walk. All right, third rounder to me. Um, I'm happy you didn't take one of the ones I was between. Um, this one's another one that's iconic to me. It's a childhood. It's the Milkman, the Paper Boy. It's Even the Golden TV. Gate Bridge. It's Full House. Full House is a great one. Yep. That's Very first child- rounder right there. First rounder? <laughs> yeah. First rounder. I feel good about that. If that's a final for first rounder. Tremendous right? value getting a good. first rounder in the third round. Unbelievable. So I think there's a better mixed family TV show based theme song from that era, but I don't want to get into it yet. I do love Full House. Full House is great. Full House is very – the visuals that go with it, too, are great. Mm-hmm. The, the whole package, If you just not the song, but sitting down and watching it and letting the credits roll, the yellow font, they go to the park, the kids are playing, yeah. the fucking beautiful rows of houses. The Olsen twins yeah. running around. It's a good one. I heard that um, Bob Saget on set, like, well – like prior to scenes being being recorded and acted out and everything was just like he is an entourage and he was just a filthy motherfucker in front of those two little like seven year old girls and they would have to like reel him in. I think he had really? filthy stand up. You might be getting that mixed, but no, he's supposed see, to. Yeah, he's. This is something um, that uh, we've actually talked about with him. We've had him, but he's a maniac. He's a maniac. But he he cha- he kind of has an interesting narr- uh, not take take on that. Where he says he's not like filthy, he's a regular dude. But comparatively to what you imagine him as, he is filthy. Okay. Like he'll say fuck and he talks about his dick and shit like that. But it's not as as like over the top as you'd think. But just when you compare it to someone who you were brought up with, Danny Taylor, you know, right, right, and yeah. being an OCD neat freak, mm-hmm. it, it it doesn't jive as well. But he's he's definitely 
he's I would say he's somewhere in between in in my little experience somewhere in between Sag um, Danny Tanner and Entourage Sag. Yeah, there's just something about you know seeing the guy you saw go into the daughter's room, knock and sit on it in his socks, and then mm-hmm. saying "fuck" like later in life. That's like jarring. So yeah, it's very <laughs> weird. It's like seeing your dad cry. It's like this isn't real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'm happy to get Full House. Those were the two that I was between Full House and Friends. So I'm happy I got in the rap. I and also, I, I agree good. with Carl. I don't. I, I don't. I think we're on the same page mm-hmm. with what he's talking about. I'm not doing another uh, reveal. But I think we're on the same page, me and Carl here. I think I know what you're talking about too, and I respect your take. I just, yeah, I picked the one that I liked more. I guess. A hundred. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and, uh, and be fair, much better show too. Yeah. Yes. It's a better show. Full House is a better show. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, Chief, you're up again. I'll go uh, another HBO show that it just kind of used to just get me gassed up when I would hear it is Game of Thrones. Yeah. So. <laughs> like you- are those cargo pants john we got yeah i'm in cargo pants i'm in cargo corduroys and i got a first rounder off the board (laughs) was that your next pick yeah it was my next pick (laughs) it's one of those it's another one where when you do the rewatch I don't you, fast forward. You don't it. fast forward. Yeah. You just kind of get geared up. And you look at that map and those fucking wheels, uh, the little cranks turning, yeah, the little yeah, clock yeah. things turning on it's there. It's like a Lego set. Yeah. It's fucking great. And it, it felt like you're getting ready for a big game. Like, that's kind of like the the, yeah. the vibe that I would get. Like, Cause you, Battle of the Bastards. Here yep. we fucking go. We got the right song to get us into that. And, uh, yeah, so I love Game of Thrones. Thrilled to get it in the third round. First round value in the third oh, round. Oh, for sure. One thousand <laughs> percent. If you could go back in time and you tell, let's say, let's, I don't remember the exact years, but let's say 2017, you tell all of us that in four years, you're going to be able to get the Game of Thrones theme song in the third round. That's how bad they ruined that last I season. Know. This is a first round pick. No brainer. Yeah. If they, if, they, if they landed the last season, no brainer first round pick. 100%. They, the last season was fucking pathetic. Well, because the last by the, in the last season, the best part of the show was the theme song. Right, you know. I, so. mean, I remember yeah. the you had a minute of so they yeah. changed it. So they st- they went to the wall and it was like crashed down when the dead came through. It spoilers mm-hmm. if you haven't seen it. That's your problem at this point. But it, it was fucking awesome, and you got you got that blood rush. You're like, oh fuck yeah, here we go, battle of the dead. <laughs> Man, did they fuck that up? Are you are you pumped up for the uh, the prequel? Um, I'm I'm optimistic for the prequel. How's that? I, I, I think that there's uh, – I'll watch it, obviously. Um, but I think it depends on how involved R.R. R. Martin is because, like, it was him. We, yeah. I think he's supposed to be very, very involved in it. It was him. He still hasn't it, finished the last book. I've, I, I'm actually mad at him now. Oh, like, I think I, – I agree. I think – what's what, what are their names? Vernon and Bernstein, whatever the fuck they are. Mm. What are the, yeah, the showrunners? I, I know who you're talking about. They they, they they got they got smoked for that last season and deservedly so. Yeah, it was fucking but at terrible. At the same time, they were very good when they got hired to do what they were hired to do. When it was like take a book and and turn that into a screenplay. Yeah. When they didn't have a fucking book to make a screenplay and they had to go with their own, it's a more difficult job. Yeah. They were very good at what they were hired to do, and it just yeah. turns out R. R. Martin could keep up with. Them. Well, well he, he should have fucking I've, waited. I would have waited picked. five seasons well, he, or five years. years. I think, yeah. I think the years? last book, uh, he's like the last book came out in like 1994, right? Isn't that accurate? So like, I think I think that's the thing. I like, thought it was been, closer to two. Oh, so they thought he was gonna die before he finished the last. Well, book. Well, like he's been working on the last book for like 20 fucking. Have years. you read the books, Chief? No, but I'm I might read his version of the end of the story. Okay, that's yeah. fair. That's fair. That's very 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 fair. I'm like the only one on the planet that liked the uh, Battle of Winterfell. I thought it was fucking. Yeah. In, All right, of- Game of Thrones theme song. <laughs> We're doing theme songs here. We're not doing fucking Game of Thrones recap. He, he just got the Oscars music. Yeah, I'm sorry. Bad I mean, I just, there. <laughs> well, I, just, I, I know there's a lot of steam, White Sox Dave, as for that show. I just we could be I'm here for hours. Like Got to nip it in the bud. Yeah. All right. Um, good pick, Chief John. You're up. All right. What's he gonna do now? In the first round. Pokemon. Wow. Yeah. What? I want to be the very best like no one ever was. <laughs> something, something, to something, something. To train them is my cause. Pokemon. Hey. It's a heater. 
I'll here. tell you what, if this poll somehow finds its way into a weird corner of Twitter, <laughs> you're winning this shit with Pokemon. There's no doubt about gotta it. to get into the K-pop section. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you're winning. Yeah. I'm just going to, I'm going to fucking quote tweet. Just say, what's one of those bands? What's the band that goes viral all the time? No, there's one of the, of the fuck it. It's like it's just like three letters. They go if you just oh. mention them in a tweet, ten thousand retweets. Oh, BTK <laughs> or K, BTS. BTS, yes. Not the BTK. BTK, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's laughs> so uh, can, a murderer in Kansas. Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> BTS. Yeah. BTS. Yeah. You will. I mean, but I'll. I'll honestly though, I'm maybe Carl knows. I don't think you two ever did it, but that's a great. That's a great theme song. Great. Yeah, I watched Pokemon as yeah, kid for sure. Exactly. It's not at 7 a.m. <laughs> <Hey, laughs> gotta catch them all, man. Yeah. I never got There was a little that. weird moment where I was watching Digimon, too. And I was, my, then that's when my dad's like, go outside. Like, we're not doing this. <laughs> Here's your baseball glove, kid. <laughs> you get one. <laughs> the Digimon glove? Yeah, I watched a little bit, okay? I watched, and I was old, too. I was like fucking 11 or 12 years old watching that shit. Yeah, someone snakes Carl's phone right now. You're going to see a lot of BTS <laughs> in the recent play. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, one show with the word mon in it. So Pokemon was it. Um good fucking pick, man. You're I mean I I I disagree. Well you don't know anything <laughs> yeah, about it. I don't know anything like, about it either. Uh that Carl, but that is a problem. Like with friends, I don't know anything about Yeah, I, but like you can't deny that Pokemon was unequivocally hugely popular at one point. It still pretty much is, right? Yeah. I mean it's still kind the of, number one brand in the world. Really? What number number one is Pokemon? Number two is Hello Kitty. Number three ahead of Mickey Mouse, Winnie the Pooh. Wow, interesting. Yep. Mickey four. Uh, Mickey's four, I believe. And who's doing this? Like, uh, yeah, who are you pulling? Come on, where, like, where we get this from, Nick? Is Nick Hamilton Google, ever leave his side? We Google the biggest brands in the world. <laughs> All right, yeah, there's a lot of research over <laughs> yeah. there at the KFC Radio yeah. headquarters. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, the, the, when you're talking biggest brands in the world, I'm like, is Pokemon beating like Nike? Like, what are we talking? <laughs> yeah, about? no, that's what I was thinking, like Apple and shit. Hang on, was it biggest <laughs> franchises? No. We're, well, we can move on, but I'm gonna come back. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do want to move on. All right, yeah. we'll come back, Carl. You're up. <laughs> um, there's, I have to take it. I'm taking the office. There you go. I know John doesn't like it. I don't give a fuck, John. I'm sorry, but it's the you don't office. like it at all. Like the TV show I, or the song? Oh, no, no, no. I love the song. Um, I mean, I, lo I love the show and I love the song. It's just one of those I've watched the show so many times. It's just become overplayed, like like, mm -hmm. like a lot of great songs become. Yeah. Um, I can't even think of it. I, like, have to. I have a, There's a couple. I'm, eh. Did it also get proven for being overly loud? Are you worried about that, that some people yeah. are scarred by that? No, no. Um, what I'm worried about is there's not lyrics. Yeah, it's just... That, I don't. I, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. There's not in the Simpsons either. It's just a smooth, crisp little piano medley. But mm -hmm. he is kind of like a jazzy play motherfucker. It? I haven't tried. I you bet you played. Yeah. I haven't. But I, I should had to try. think about it for a second. And then it came to me. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun. So Dude. I think it's actually a lot harder than you guys would think. Then based on your reaction, because if I thought I could play it, I would have sat yeah. down and been like, "Ooh, I'll figure it out." No, it's, yeah. it, there's a lot of fucking pinkies moving around there. <laughs> all right, the office. Um. Fourth round, I'm taking Peaky Blinders. Red Ooh. right hand. I'm doing a rewatch now, and that's a good show to have on in the background period, but the way the fucking percussion hits on that thing, it's so ha – it's just yeah. a badass song. It lines up perfectly it with is. the Tommy show. Tommy you want to punch game. someone in the face after you listen to that song. But that's they change it from episode to episode with different, like, voices yeah. and different, uh, like, uh, tempos of the song. So – Love the show. I, I'm on the record. I said this the other day in a blog. It should be on the same pantheon thought of just like Sopranos or The Wire, shit like that. But theme song, eh. Doesn't I think do it's it a good me. theme song. It's my fourth rounder, and I love it. Um, like doesn't I said, do doing the rewatch. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. Like what? No, I, I've never seen it. That's the only reason why okay. I haven't commented. It's not a banger. Again, we're not. if my playlist no. is the worst playlist here. But if you hear the bells, and you know, you're like, the bells, oh, yeah, that. here comes Tommy yeah, Shelby. You, you want to cut someone's throat with a flat cap for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm still thinking about doing the Tommy Shelby haircut, the Peaky Blinders haircuts. So I think I don't know if I've, I think I've said this to you before, but I went in. This is when I was like 
first discovered Peaky Blinders maybe like four or five years ago. And that haircut was in. I think uh, like Edelman had it. And yeah. uh, I sat down. I'm like, I think I want to do this haircut. I sat down like in the, like, the chair. And the girl's like, I haven't seen the show. Like, pull up a picture. He goes, oh, no, your face is too fat for that. You won't be able to pull it off. <laughs> so, so I was like, oh, okay, well, thanks for the honesty. And Moving we'll on. just get the same car- haircut I've had since I was in second grade. We'll just keep going with that. <laughs> it was every every fat-faced guy had that moment. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I sat in that chair. I was like, what do you think about the Hitler Youth? And they're like, yeah, that one's not going to work for your face. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, yeah, it's kind of some John, that's definitely something I would have figured you would have tried. So. No, I, I don't. I didn't have the courage for that. I wanted to, but I knew, I knew this fucking bloated face wasn't getting the job done. Yeah. On hey, you're on a juice cleanse or whatever now, so it'll be in a day or two. You'll be able to do it. A banya yeah, is they, not oh, a juice oh, they, cleanse. Is that what you're saying? No, he said he quit. Oh, drinking. did he? All right, well, juice cleanse. Uh, no but, juice cleanse. No, just have a drink. But. <laughs> Might uh, as well be a juice cleanse. <laughs> That's how tough that is. Feidelberg, you're up again. All right, back to me. I would like to, uh, now that we're back here, I would like to give you guys the top 10 fran- meat, uh, top ten highest grossing media franchises of all time worldwide in billions of dollars. Number one, Pokemon, 92 billion. Jesus Number two, Christ. Hello Kitty, 80 billion. Three, Winnie the Pooh, 75. Four, Mickey Mouse, 70. Five, Star Wars, 65. See, that Six, blows my mind. And Pan Man, I've never heard of this, $60 billion. Seven Disney princesses, forty-five billion. Eight Mario, thirty-six billion. Nine Show and Jump, don't know this one either, thirty-four billion. And ten Harry Potter, thirty bill. I would have guessed that Star Wars was like number one running away. I would like to know what percentage of dollars come from what parts of the world. That's that. that's I'd the be other very thing. interested to know that. I, th- I think I think we had four on there that I've never well not I've never heard of I've heard of Pokemon and, and Hello Kitty the other two uh, they seem to have Japanese uh, yeah origins so there are four four Asian brands on that one it's wild there you go that's and an interesting then list I am gonna go with my number four first round pick <laughs> I am gonna take God. Man, I got a fucking toss up here. I'm going Dawson's Creek. I'm doing it. Oh, Dawson's Creek. I, I love it. Away. I don't know. Oh, yeah. For my life to be over. That's a great one. I didn't have that on my list. That's a great call. That is a great I one. don't know. I it missed my list, too, and now I'm mad. At yeah, it. yeah, that's a very yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not lying. He's got all first round picks. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. This is the, the, the one that the sneaky about this is because when it went to Netflix, where a lot of people are watching now, didn't get they didn't get the rights to the song Netflix didn't so they have a different intro now. Oh yeah, that's crazy. I I like there was a like the band didn't want like them using it at first, and then I think Dawson's Creek the story I heard at least they're just like all right fuck yourself then. Yeah, uh, which is like I feel like Dawson like they should have made a deal like it's not. It's like when Marvel and Sony split over Spider Man like you guys got to figure this out like you got it's you are too important to each other to not have each other and yeah. they they did. You got to have it, man. Got to have it. Uh, that's a great pick. Great that's pick. great value in the fourth round. Uh, Chief, you're up. I'm going Saved by the Bell. So, oh, good. Very good. Oh, good. wow. Good. I feel that's I can't tell if this is. I wake up in the morning and I'm in the morning and I get in and I'm in it on time. Yeah. That's hey, it. Fucking great. Okay. I was. I thought. Both of you guys were being sarcastic for oh, a second. Oh, fuck you. I'm trying to see, be nice <laughs> no, here. All right, no, I, I'm glad we're all on the same page. But the it was bell so, rings. Yeah, hey, no, it's a great one. And that's school. another one where kind of like what you were saying earlier, where it's like you just get transported back the second you hear it. Uh, so, yeah, I love I love Say by the Bell as a show when I was a kid. And that theme song is fire. So some would say it's a first round pick in the fourth round. I think it's a first round pick. Yeah. You're going to get a lot yeah. of love. It's a great steal. Can I can I make a confession here though? You regret taking the hill second. No, I love you having should. the hill second. I don't. You've never watched Saved by the Bell. I no. I have. <laughs> I, I, I never have got into it. Zero songs left on my board. <laughs> <laughs> so like I, everything's been taken. I'm. A, I gotta get yeah. back in the lab here. Dude, there's for, so many left. It's so there's so many that I'm like, I, I'm like devastated that I can't take. Like I'm only get two more picks. This could be the one we get bitched at more than any anyone else. Maybe, dude. There's gonna be a lot left off. How'd you forget? I know. Okay. It's a great pick. 
And I did do the intros while there too. I feel like they introduce everybody by name and then they have like, like it's like Screech and then underneath it, it's like Dustin Diamond. I have two. I just, I just had two pop in my mind. All right. So I'll be ready. I'll be ready for round five. All right. It's to me. Um, it's just tough, man. This is tough. Like I said, there's so many I want to take. Uh, I'm going to take one that might not be that popular. It was a very popular show, but I don't know how many people still watch it and whatnot. But I'll argue that I'll fight this song to the death. And uh, it's moving on up to the east side. I'm Great going one. Jefferson's. Jefferson's. Never yeah. watched it. It's another, Nick, you know the it's song, another Nick at Night one. You know the yeah, song yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like it's a, it's a, it's a feel good song. Oh, big it's time. just a feel good song. I actually might throw it on after this. It's a cra- it's a great song. It, it is really a great is. song. So. You're, you're toe tapping when that comes on for yes. sure. Yes, yeah, yeah. You, you yeah. hear it and you're just like, yeah. and you think of the Jeffersons going. too. Yep, you think sure. of Mr. Jefferson, yep. and that's like that's like a guy who like he just he kind of like anything he says is almost funny just because of how he looks and how yeah. he says it and stuff. Yeah, so. I was watching uh, uh, the the U the thirty for thirty a couple weeks ago. I was just like in the mood for college football and hadn't quite started yet. And they have that scene where the guy uh, on Miami, like his touchdown celebration was the the Mr. Jefferson dance where he's like strutting like all yeah, funny. Yeah. It's just like that. And that song comes back and clicks in your head. It's a great song. Great pick. Yeah. Um, all right, I, I Jeff- think it's got to be one of the more complimentary drafts of all time. I think everyone's just gassing each other up here. Being like, oh, unbelievable picks. Yeah, yeah for, uh, definitely. Especially, you know, we're even gassing guys up who haven't seen shows and are lying about it. So <laughs> it's uh, – <laughs> You know. Is there going to be a? I mean, Chaps was suspended for a long time. I feel like that could we might the council of one might have to look at suspending John Feidelberg for that suspension <laughs> for a little white lie, a little fib. Come on, <laughs> you sold it too well. You reference a specific episode with Misha Barton's death, firecast. I'm like, wow, this guy really loved loved the OC. Wrong. Look, I, I've seen the scene I referenced. I know it's a fire cast. Those I spoke no lies, <laughs> except when I said I fucking lied. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Jefferson's off the board. White Sox, Dave, you're up. All right, so I am gonna. I got my last two picks coming up. I cannot believe that this got back to me. I wanted. I wanted Happy Days because it was more near and dear to me for the most part. But. Huh! Bad boys, what you going? Oh, what you going? Wow. What you going to do? Wow! <laughs> wow! That's a great pick. Wow! I can't believe this got it. back to me. That's a first round fucking pick right there. <laughs> Every I don't know who sings it. Where I didn't it came know you, from? Everybody identifies capable, that song. Man. I didn't know you had that in you, Dave. I'll be honest. <laughs> Everybody identifies that song with the show cops. Fuck! That's a good pick, Dave. Yeah. Great pick. Great pick. Did, how, You've had that up your sleeve the whole time. Yeah, I just erased it. Wow. I got and I, I I had my last two picks left. My last two picks left. I would have taken Game you of didn't Thrones text over anyone? that. Anyone? No one no gave way. you a heads up on it. Um, no, no. That's great. You would have drafted that. There's come on. You would have taken that in the third round. I would have taken Thrones next. That would have. I had my list. You've been sitting on cops all fucking day. I've been sitting See, on cops. I, I mean, I think. Do you believe him? I, I don't believe, know. He I does believe the uh, text message on the laptop, so you never know. Oh, the text message is always fun. We're, uh, I believe him. We're not I, reading text messages on air right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody text you, cops? No, I swear to God. Honestly? I, okay. We're doing I trust lie detectors, you. right? I trust you. Want to do lie detectors? I trust you. Okay. I said I trust you. And then I'm my just, last one? Everyone just stunned because no one knew you had I'll it. reserve judgment. Why? I'll I mean, wait. How, that's on you guys for not taking it. I, I had, so I wanted honor. I, Fresh Prince was easy. Mm-hmm. Entourage, I thought that Ed was for sure taking it, so I had to scoop it because I think that's more identifiable with our audience. Uh, Happy Days is just very easy. Do you watch a lot of cops? I used to watch cops. <laughs> I heard that show's coming back. Someone told me that. Well, was, it got it, canceled basically. Yeah, it but was I, like racist. But there's. But, but I, I think it's been re greenlit. The uh, <laughs> Jesus, Christ, it might have. I don't know. But the uh, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite cops episode I ever watched. Um, it was, I was watching with my old roommate, Dan, in college. It was my sophomore year. It was a random night. We're just watching inside TV. And there was this homeless guy who the cops tried to pull over for selling crack. And he's laughing at him. He's laughing at him. He had no fucking teeth in his mouth. He had this big lisp. He's like, man, they didn't crack. They didn't crack. And he's like, I went and bought that in there from those guys. And he went into this convenience store. And it was these little, like, it was, they were sold. It was just like little candied nuts. And he was selling them as crack. And he had a big wad of cash in them. 
So they get back out there and they like test the fake crack on like on site. And they, they look at the guy, they're like, man, we can't arrest you because he didn't do anything wrong, but there's going to be a lot of really pissed off people coming up after you. It was <laughs> it was laugh out loud funny. The, the, he wasn't selling crack. He was just selling like little candy things. <laughs> Ass crack. Yeah. Shout out, he Dan. Wanted to arrest you, dude. Coming back to uh, uh, the streaming service on Fox. New episodes. Oh, wow. There you go. All right, Dave, you got your final pick. And my final pick is the X-Files. The yep. <laughs> Iconic. It's iconic. It's yep. Creepy as fuck. It's it is creepy as yeah. fuck. That scared the fuck out of all five of us at one point. Big time. Dude, it was a terrifying TV show. My parents watched it every fucking week. I feel like that might have been... Was that back-to-back Simpsons Sunday Night Fox? No, X-Files was late. That was like an adult show. No, but like Simpsons would be on at like 8 and X-Files would come on at 9. I don't remember no. them. I remember the 5 and 5.30 slots because I would look forward to it. No, I'm like talking Carl new or. episodes. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Did you like, uh, what was her name? Molly? Mulder. Mulder. And uh, Scully. Mulder was a girl, right? Scully was Scully a girl. Was a girl. Yeah. Is she uh, hot? The red redhead. Uh, what's her so. name in real life? Jillian, Jillian Anderson? I think she was hot. Yeah, she's good looking. She was yeah. hot. Oh, and dude, David Duchovny's sexy Anderson too. Jillian Anderson was just in a show. Uh, she's in Sex Education, which is dope. But what was the one on BBC with uh, fucking Christian Grey? Uh, the Fall. The Fall. Oh! She's Falls still off. smoking hot. Oh, she's a weapon. Weapon. <laughs> I, thought like, I am like... shocked right now. Yeah. She's only 5'3". You like oh, that? she's from Chicago. <laughs> Did not know that. She's from Chicago? She's from Chicago. She's only 5'3". <laughs> no. And, born in Chicago, Anderson grew up in London and Grand Rapids, oh. Michigan. She okay. graduated from the theater me. school at DePaul University in Chicago. Damn. Did not know no that. No shit. So mm. she just does a great British accent then. I feel like if you... We're born and went to college here. You probably don't have much of an accent. In the fall, that show I referenced, she's she's very British. Yeah. I fell asleep watching. Uh, it was on HBO last night. The Dark Knight Rises. I didn't know Killian Murphy when The Dark Knight Rises came out was from Ireland. Yeah, that's how good his American accent was. Yeah. Dude, they movies. all can do it because yeah. they it always know. freaks me out. What's that? It always freaks me out when they. It's like, oh, you're English. I, I think I've read an article about I think it was with Tom Hardy maybe he talked about why and he's like he's like growing up in England we know to be massive movie stars we have to be able to act in American oh, movies interesting. so we have to learn how to do movie accents you know I caught a lot like, fuck it you gotta be over here screw you guys I also just never think of this is like such like uh, ugly American comment I never think of our our the way we speak as an accent like you guys have an accent not us yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm 100% with you on that yeah, the one guy like Eddie, who I. Eddie's the only person. Eddie, Carl, and Dave. You don't have much of an accent, do you? This is how it goes. People from like I'm born like 25 miles west of the city. People out there say I got a thick Chicago accent. People from like where Ed's from, they think I got a thick suburban accent. So I'm like in the middle a little bit. Yeah, I can. When you said Chicago, I can hear that for sure. All right, the X Files. Off the board, it's to me. I don't know what to fucking do, guys. I'll be honest. I don't know. I mean, there's just so many. There's so many, and I feel bad. So many shows aren't going to go undrafted. And this is where it's like I have a very iconic one here ready to go, and I like it. I think it's really good, but then I have one of the personal. So I'm between the uh, I'm, I'm between the catch-22 here. So what's I do, head. Chief? Yeah, I think you should go with your favorite. Don't manipulate the audience. Go with what you think is the best. Well, your what favorite. do you think I should do, Carl? I think you should put together the best draft you can. Hmm. Are you going to ask me what I think you should What do you think I should do? You're the tiebreaker, Dave. I think you should flip a coin. I, I don't care either way. <laughs> All right, I'm flipping a coin. Aren't you going to ask oh, me my wait, opinion? Wait, wait, wait. I don't have one. That's basically what Dave said. Hey, it's Here. like, hey, it's like, Tails is hold on a second. Let me give you more thing to think about. Yeah. We talk about this a lot with food. There's the best and there's your favorite. Yeah. There's a place from the neighborhood, but then there's a place where you're like, hey, this is, this place is actually the best though. Mm -hmm. So that's how I see these picks. All right, Ted. Tails is favorite. Heads is more iconic. Tails. Go with the wire. I like the wire a lot. I know they kind of fuck it up because they do a different rendition in all five seasons. But when you walk through the garden, um, I like. I kind of like them all in, it. it's in their own right, too. So, um, yeah. So, I'm just going to go with a, a personal one. And I very big, too. It's not like the wire is a, a no-name show. But, yeah. Yeah, great series. Firecast. All the classic. Yeah. That was me referencing that I haven't seen it. 
Oh, you've never seen it, really? No, I tried. I did it like I did season one uh, when like when quarantine started, and then I kind of just fell off it once we got allowed to go outside again. Uh, mm-hmm. I thought it was very good. It's just kind of one of those things. That, it's one of those things where like, it's almost like it's cliche. From, like I feel like a loser, and I just I won't give in, kind of deal. It's it's all personal self sabotage is why I haven't seen it. That's um, me with friends, but I'm the exact same way with The Wire. I've started it probably five times, and I've never really gone past the first season. I got like towards the end of season two. I didn't really love season two. So. I liked it a lot. That's, a lot that of, seems to be a bit of a firebomb. The season two. Yeah. People who don't like season two are dead to me. I feel I like I love it, season two. It's just a different story. I like the union stuff. Yeah, the Those union guys are stuff, funny. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll give it another shot. But yeah. I keep saying that, but I haven't. I haven't gotten through it. I yeah. love season one, but when you walk through the garden. All right, the wires off the board, Chief. You're up. All right. Sad McNulty never turned it around. I have two. Yeah. And I feel like he's a British guy too. McNulty is. Yeah. Sorry yeah. if we ruined. Yeah, fair. Wow. Um, can I take the uh, Carrie Underwood Sunday Night Football theme, or is that outside the purview of this? Nah, I would. I, I veto. That's not a TV show. <laughs> yeah, it's not a TV show. It's on TV. It's a theme song on TV. It's not a TV show, though. Okay, that's why I asked. But I. That's, if you, that's, 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 that's a fair ask. I think. I yeah. think. I think everyone's presenting good op- good opinions here. I think but, if you want to draft it, you can make an argument for it. Because a TV show yeah, to me is something that's scheduled, broadcasted. It's it's programming. Mm-hmm. I and know I that there's Sunday night football. Different than like, you know, the NF or like the the theme for the uh, SEC on CBS. Like, I think it's different than that. It is like a produced song. It's a song, but I'll not do that one. I'll do uh, one from when I was real little, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, so, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power. That's it. So, I loved the fucking Ninja Turtles. The, I, I was a Ninja Turtle love them. three years in a row for Halloween when I was a little kid. Get so, the uh, orange or the orange, the green garbage can top as a shell. Drill no, I don't think we it. did that. <laughs> That's what I, I did. I don't I remember doing that. That's a good one. <laughs> What's wrong? That's it. Looks like a no. Shot. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I just left. It's <laughs> the disconnect between you two. Uh, good pick. Thanks. Ninja Turtles. Yeah. I, I think, Chief. I think you, you. I think you should have pushed a little harder with Sunday night. I think you, you got 17, 17 weeks of that show. Most shows these days are ten weeks. No, I know. It, it, but it, it was, you know, I think it. I think it. You could have made an argument for it, but in my core. You know you what you. Were doing. I know it was not in the uh, in the spirit of this draft. And if yeah. if we were going down that route, I think there's a lot of those sports theme songs that could have been drafted. But yeah, um, so you pled not guilty. Then halfway through the trial, you were like, "Look, guys, we all know I fucking did it. Right? <laughs> 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 we waste our time here for it." Yeah. <laughs> uh, fights, you're up. Always sunny in Philadelphia. You know. I, I'm embarrassed to say it too. I haven't seen much of it. it oh yeah. no! It's Eddie. one of my all-time favorite shows. It, but it is a show where I, a hundred percent of the time, try to fast forward. Like that little it's, black. I, I, I'm, I'm being um, a hypocrite right now because I don't totally disagree with you. It's a show I've seen so many times. It does hit that office level for me. Yeah. But I thought of what Carl said at the start of the draft, where if that song makes you go like, "Oh, I gotta go watch the show." Like, like when we hang up on this, I'm just going to Hulu.com and I'm going to watch a few episodes of Sunny. That's just that's what's happening. I'm admitting that at uh, 2:30 on a Thursday, my day is going to be done in a second. <laughs> I'm just watch for the it's an it is iconic intro mm-hmm. the, from the font and the drive-through yeah. scene from Philly. Yep. Like, there's more to it than just the music that's going on. It's a great introduction. I never got into it, and that's one show I know I'd absolutely love. I've seen a couple oh, episodes. Dave, I'm telling you, you would fucking love it. I know I would. Give, give I, just season one, episode one, a rip tonight. You're all set. Dude, yeah. I, I, I did that uh, at the start of quarantine with uh, – I've seen every Seinfeld episode one billion times. I started with Curb, and I was like – in like getting an ab workout, I was laughing so hard through the first three episodes, but I just didn't – I just didn't through. watch it. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, whatever reason. Curb, Curb's a heavy show. Sunny can be heavy too, where it's just like it's so like draining on you because everyone's such a dickhead. 
that you're like, I can only do like three or four in a row. Sunny, I've, I've watched so many times I can just fire through. The now. one Always I've Sunny episode I've seen is where they got stuck in the in-ground pool and they had to like order pizzas to it and shit. And one I was of like my laughing favorite. out loud. Yeah. yeah. It was <laughs> absolutely hysterical. And for whatever reason, I just never got into it other than that. All right. Always Sunny off the board. Carl, Mr. Irrelevant. So these are TV show theme songs. So like the song that's attached to the TV show. We talk a lot about the in opening credits because that's where the show's played the most or the songs played the most, right? Mm -hmm. But we agree it's just like the song for the TV show. What are you setting up here, Carl? I'm taking Curb. Yeah, Curb. Okay. Okay. You're taking the exit, not the intro. Yeah, like. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It took me a minute to register. <laughs> Whoop. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bye. Yeah. That's a pretty damn good Mr. Relevant. I like it. I like that it. That one, Carl, I'm going to give you. That's a first rounder. I had it on my first round board. <laughs> How do you feel about I mean, that? Thanks, John. I, I feel good about I, it. I liked Curb so much more than Entourage in that time when they were on at the same time. And like all your friends would be like, oh, we got to get together and watch Entourage. And I'd yeah, be like, nah. I don't know. watch Curb. Curb is way, Curb. It's a way, 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 better way, show. way, way better show. Uh, it's simple, and on the subject of Kurt, I was in between. I did want to take just the bass player from Seinfeld, but that, yeah. yeah, the bass because yeah, it's, it's really not a like song, a song, yeah. but there's just yeah. a guy just yeah. hammering a bass with some kind of synthesizing effects yeah. in the background. I like Curb again. That just checks my box of like I hear that, I know that, I love that. Yeah. It gets used a lot in mm -hmm. memes and stuff. It's uh, it's like transcended this and that. For as far as like a song is concerned, though, it's not. It's more of like a melody, more of like a tune. But it's still big. You're right. It has transcended, which says yeah. a lot about it. So, um, all right, I'll read them all again. Then we'll do some honorable mentions. We'll get out of here. Uh, White Sox, Dave Fresh, Principal Air, Entourage, Happy Days, Cops, The X Files. Eddie, cheers, friends, Full House, the, the Jeffersons, The Wire, Chief, The Wonder Years, The Hills, Game of Thrones, Saved by the Bell, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Feidelberg, The O.C., Growing Pains, Pokemon, Dawson's Creek, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Carl, The Simpsons, The Sopranos, The Office, Peaky Blinders, Curb Your Enthusiasm. The one I was wow. between there, the one I flipped the coin for, was SpongeBob. Oh, uh, I know this. SpongeBob, no, that's, a, that's one. We're, we're going to get yelled at a lot for that one. Huge, huge. Who lives in a pineapple under a sea? You've heard that. I don't know. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh. That's a big one. Oh, now I remember. Yeah. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob yeah. SquarePants. Yeah. SquarePants. I never watched SpongeBob at all. I and think the Monday night song is so much better than the Sunday night song. Monday night. Right? But I feel like that's retired, right? Is it? I think. Are, are you talking about the... Um, it's like the guy, the country music guy. Is it yeah, Harry. Harry, Harry yeah. Super problematic. You've run into some problems there. Yeah. Okay. Never mind that. But it was a jam. It was a jam. But uh, what's his name? What the fuck is his name? Hank, Hank Williams. Hank Jr. Williams Jr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would agree that that's a better song, but it's also not current and problematic. So. I love the uh, I love the Mike Portnoy. Bum 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 bum. I've got <laughs> yeah, a long order. Yeah, long order. order. <laughs> long order. <laughs> yeah. Well, on the list. John, why don't you go through the rest of your first round picks? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. First round picks still we got left. Um, step by step, Carl. Good one. Yep, so that's what we're at. Step by yep. step, day yep. by day. Yep. Day step by day. It's a way better song. It's a the, great mm -hmm. song. Not Bad. as watched the show. Uh, Flintstones. Good Flintstones. one. Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. Had that too. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Malcolm in the Middle. You're not the boss of me now. You're not, you're the, not boss the boss of me, of me now, now. And Great. you're not so big. Great. And then my big one. Oh, I also had Scrubs. Um, I'm your Superman. And Captain Planet, he's our hero. Going to take oh. pollution down to zero. He's yep. our powers all combined. And he's fighting on the planet side. That's a fire song. Good one. Um, I had another one. I was between Ninja Turtles and DuckTales. If you guys remember, you guys, anybody yeah. watch that show? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one, too. DuckTales, Duck Tales. good. Woo! Um, I had Bob Barker in there. Jeopardy, I had. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's. A good I erased one. it though. I erased Jeopardy. That's a good one. Batman, Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah. Um, Breaking Bad, very Breaking identifiable. Bad. Mm -hmm. South Park. I'm surprised you yes. didn't go South, South Park. Park South Park was definitely. Um, well, I don't really like it though. What I love said? the TV show. Golden Girls. Thank you Golden Girls. Yeah. The Laverne old uh, Chaps and Kate intro. Very the good. Would you have accepted the 60 Minutes clock? <laughs> it is identifiable. It's a good question. Uh, Brady Bunch. 
Yeah, Brady Bunch. Uh, you know what's awesome too, um, and I think you really appreciate it once you get like some nieces and nephews. The Sesame Street intro is awesome. I was having that. I, really, I, I, I was, think it's I great. I pulled up a list when I was scrambling, and then, um, but I don't remember it. Can you Sunny it? days, wiping oh, the yeah. clouds away. Oh yeah, that is very, yeah. yeah, that is a good one. Good one. Can you tell me how to get um, different uh, strokes? Can, yep. The Adams Family. Mm-hmm. We talked about it fucking all day Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Boy Meets World I had. When this Boy Meets World. Yeah. Great song. Oh, City Guy. C-I-T-Y. You can't see why these guys were born and raised as a city. You remember that show? Anything? I no? I do. City Guys? City Guys? Anyone? Anybody? It was like an NBC daytime programming when Dicka played. He was like, or Buckus was the coach of the basketball team. And then it was like the show after that. It was about oh, okay, a bunch of high okay. school kids yes, like in New it. York City. I've seen the intro. Yeah, rough and tough high school kids. Yes. Um, anybody else have any more? Uh, Family Matters, pretty solid one. Shout out Chicago. Yeah. Yep. Um, and Thank then uh, One Tree Hill, Gavin DeGraw. Because I, like I Gavin don't want to be anything other than what, <laughs> what I've been, been trying, trying to be, be lately. lately. I saw Gavin DeGraw. He opened for Billy Joel at Wrigley like eight years ago. I was there. There you go. Gavin DeGraw for Billy Joel. Also, mm -hmm. guest stars in a great episode of Criminal Minds. He's a vampire. Ooh. There you Thanks, go. Gavin DeGraw. All right, boys. Uh, fights, thank you. Thank you very much, guys. This was a blast. This was fun. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening. That's it for today. We'll see you all tomorrow.